birthday mga kabukol. July 8 ngayong araw na to. At, let me see what time is it? Uh, 4.01 ngayon mga kabukol. Ayan o. Oh. 4.01. On the road kami ni Kevin kasi we are on our way to Atlanta, Georgia. Treatment ko kasi bukas mga kabukol. Kaya lang, um, ang treatment ko ay sa hapon pa. So, ang uh, gagawin ko ngayon, mga kabukol, kasi boring. Mga kaboring yung tra uh, traffic, yung travel. We will ask Kevin a question. Okay? Okay, Kevin. Uh, how do you feel when you, when the first time you heard that I have the cancer? Well, I was saddened, depressed, deeply emotionally affected by the fact that you had cancer because I love you and I was thinking that like most people think having cancer is an immediate death sentence so I was afraid for your life and was thinking about what life would be like if I didn't have you in my life so a lot of emotions uh, ran through me from anger uh, because I didn't want you to have cancer uh, I know why you got it, uh, not because it was something that the Creator caused, but it was because of uh, imperfection, and uh, and that's the reason why you have it, but at the same time, it affected me deeply because, again, I love you, and I don't want, I did not want you to have to go through the things that I knew you would have to go through far as the treatment process is concerned to get better because you're a small woman and because of your physical size uh, the treatment will be much harder on you than it would be on for someone like my size okay is there a time where we he we can hear the news for from my doctor that I will be cancer free unfortunately no you would not be cancer free yeah. because the cancer has uh, bleached into your bone that's about the best way I can put it uh, the cancer is forever there but the goal of your treatment is to keep the cancer in your bone so that it doesn't spread from there to any vital organs because if the cancer uh, moves out of your bones and get to any vital organs uh, unfortunately your life expectancy will be dramatically reduced okay so how do you deal with me for example when I'm grouchy sometimes I wake up in the morning remember I was crying I, I, I I'm in pain what did you do to help me out well number one uh, there are times when I offer a prayer to Jehovah yes. to draw comfort and strength from Him. And I pray about uh, the axiom to help you to be strong and to help me to be strong emotionally and to help you to focus not on your current situation but on Jehovah's future promise of a world where no one on earth will experience sickness and death at all where every human being on this planet will be perfect and free from the cause of sickness and that is sin and death uh, I also kiss you hug you show you my love that you know that I'm here I'm with you I'm for you I encourage you to focus on the love that I have as well as the love of your God Jehovah that he has for you and I massage you, I do whatever I can to uh, alleviate some of the pain that you're going through from the treatment of the medication and uh, and just let you know that uh, even though I feel helpless sometimes because as much as I want to heal you and take the disease away, I can't, but I, my goal is to make sure that you understand that I love you and that 
I'm gonna be there for you no matter what. And, and again, just to try to encourage you to focus on the wonderful future that your creator, Jehovah God, holds out for you. Not just for you, but all cancer patients who are have to deal with such uh, dreaded disease. There's gonna come a time where cancer and any other uh, dreaded disease won't exist anymore. Oh, okay. Is it easy? Because some to some people they think that can you give a tip to some people who's dealing with their wife or with their loved ones? Can you give them a good advice? If how can do they uh, deal with them in a nice way so that they will feel better, like what I'm feeling right now? That's why some people think that I I don't look like sick because you treat me better you treat me nice I feel love can you give them an advice well the advice I can give them is to do like what I mentioned earlier um, pray mm -hmm. uh, assure your mate or your loved one of the love that you have for them and when they're upset or they're emotionally distraught and it may seem like they're taking you know they're getting you know getting personal with you uh, don't take it personally uh, when they're angry upset try to assure them that you love them that you care for them and that you're there to help them and when they don't quite respond the way you respond don't take it personal um, and just comfort them you know because right now they feel like they're in the world by themselves they right. feel that uh, no one understands them emotionally. Right, right. So ask them questions. Say, hey, tell me what you're thinking. Like I asked Laura, what what are you thinking? I don't care. If you say that, hey, I, I think you got a booger hanging out your nose. <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> you know? And just let them express themselves. They, they need somebody to listen to them. Listening to them while they express their negative feelings and emotion is most important. Don't try to uh, solve or provide answers to their why they feel the way they feel just let them express and be a listening ear yeah because you know mga kabuhol most of the times uh, I feel uh, how do I say that I feel sometimes I feel hopeless sometimes I, I get easily get mad angry right I get easily get upset so in Kevin's part I am thankful because he has a lot of patience he's applying a lot of patience to me because uh, sometimes I don't understand even myself so I keep on uh, telling him why I, I feel like that I get easily frustrated I get easily get frustrated angry upset that's my emotion when you see me in my camera I'm joking and I'm smiling but most of the times I am thankful to Kevin because he has a lot of patience and a lot of her emotions stems from the the, the, uh, the drugs that she's taking so someone who has to take chemo pills and certain medication it causes a lot of um, uh, emotional uh, it causes a lot of emotion especially in a woman and I'm not being a male chauvinist pig by making that statement uh, women's are emotional creatures by nature and when they're uh, taking chemo pills medication uh, it, it, it amplifies those emotions and so a lot of the emotions that my wife uh, goes through the anger, the sadness, the loneliness, the, the feeling of not being loved. Those are just natural feelings that comes along with the chemicals that is being uh, produced by the medicine that she's taking. So that's the reason why I encourage anyone who has a family member, husband, wife, daughter, son, going through uh, any kind of cancer treatment is to be patient, understanding, listen, don't take the emotional uh, feelings that they go through personal because it's not against you. It's what 
the chem is what the chemicals are causing them to feel and the goal is more than anything is to be understanding and be supportive they need to know at the end of everything they need to know that you love them and that you care for them and that you're doing the best you can to understand their emotional roller coaster that sometimes the drug makes them be on oh yeah thank you you know what i will speak to galo alam nyo mga kapukol kasi madalas yun yung nabanggit niya hindi ko maintindihan yung feelings ko parang roller coaster yung sinasabi niya minsan masaya ako pero madali akong nagagalit buti na lang mga kabukol he has a lot of patience to me kasi it's very important for you to exercise that especially if you have loved ones if you knew somebody, somebody who's undergoing like what I'm undergoing it's so hard so Kevin helped me to he always cheer me up and when I am uh, worried Number one we do is to pray because one time most of the times when I am upset I wake up I was crying so he keeps on offering a prayer for us and it's really hell right uh -oh. <laughs> so ayun mga kabukol uh, para sa mga may sakit katulad ko akala nila akala ko Ako lang yung nahihirapan, siya din pala nahihirapan. So, minsan, kapag ka nasa, ano ako, uh, hustong isip ako, kasi may, madalas nga nawawala ako sa sarili ko, naiisip ko yung mga sacrifices na ginagawa niya. Mahirap din para sa kanya, kasi nga, mahirap intindihin. Ako nga yung sarili ko, bilang isang may cancer, nahihirapan akong intindihin yung sarili ko, how much more siya. So, salamat talaga. Nagpapasalamat ako. So, mga kabukol, gusto ko lang ka-inform sa inyo. Kasi marami akong mga kakilala. Kapag uh, nakikita nila ako, tinatanong nila ako, Uy, kamusta? You look healthy. Are you cancer-free? look like you're cancer-free. Katulad ng binanggit niya, kahit kailan po, hindi ako magiging cancer-free. I will not. Kasi yung ibang mga cancer patients po, mga kabukol, iba-iba kasi ng stage eh. Yeah, ako stage 4 na ako so yung cancer ko forever nang nasa akin yung ibang mga may breast cancer na stage 1 lang stage 2 madali yung nagagamot eh. 1 year or 2 years gagamutin sila tapos magiging cancer free na sila pero uh, merong iba na bumabalik yung cancer nila alam nyo mga kabukol ito nga sa akin eh, hindi na siya mawawala so kahit kailan hindi ako magiging cancer free. Yun yung sinabi niya. At yun kasi yung palaging sinasabi ng doktor namin. So, yung aking treatment, yung ginagawa sa akin ngayon, every month, tulad ngayon, pupunta kami ng hospital. Kasi tomorrow yung treatment ko, for the rest of my life ko na yun. Kaya nga alam nyo, I don't like the heat. Kaya alam nyo mga kabukol, misa nakakasawa. Nakakasawa yung ginagawa ko, pupunta na naman kami doon, i-injection na naman kami ako, kami so nakakasawa kaya lang palagi niya akong build up palagi niya akong sinasabihan na ayoko mawala ka sa buhay ko, kaya kailangan takasan mo yung loob mo don't give up so ayun mga kabukula update namin kayo tomorrow sa aming trip kasi medyo nakakaantok kaya tinanong ko siya kung ano yung nag question and answer ako sa kanya um, bukas i-update namin kayo sa aking treatment kasi hindi ko alam kung ilan yung ano sa akin yung i-inject sa akin siya nga pala mga kabukol yung last na upload ko ng vlog ko yung mga gumaya ng red juice o gagaya ang side effect po nun ay iihi kayo ng iihi kasi lilinisit po nun yung inyong kidney at kapag umihi po kayo mapula so, huwag kayong matakot, baka mataranta kayo. <laughs> Kasi mapula yung ihi nyo dahil dun sa juice na yun. At kapag dumumi rin kayo, may mapula. Huwag kayong matakot, epekto yun. Mawawala yun mga after one day or after two days. Ibig sabihin nun, no, no, may epekto yung juice na iniinom ninyo. Okay mga kabukol? Kasi gusto ko lang i-inform sa inyo, baka matakot kayo eh. Baka magulat kayo kapag umihi kayo. Mapula talaga siya, baka akalain nyo 
So, yun mga kabu ko lang ang kaganapan ng aking buhay ngayong araw na to. So, salamat mga kabu ko doon sa mga uh, patuloy na tumatakilig sa aking vlog, sa amin ni Kevin. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Sana always happy para health.